Hello everyone, this is another video about Guild Wars 2. Uh, I'm making this video because I want to talk about uh, what I would like to see changed in the game. And I know there's a lot of topics from a lot of people that have uh, addressed a lot of topics about change this, change that. But I feel like my my ideas are very, uh, they're based around a, a, a similar reason and a similar system that I really like about Guild Wars 2 that I wish more things were like and that is account wide um, so, if you, so if you play Guild Wars 2 you know that certain things are account wide um, they just added in a account wide wallet which all your characters can access um, you know if any of your characters gains any kind of coins they automatically go into the wallet and all your characters can access it same for karma same for laurels same for any gems or any any of this kind of stuff which is really really cool it's fantastic. It means that, you know, your characters don't have to hold on to their, you know, badges of honor in each of their character slot, you know, in each of their bags or anything. You know, they can all put all their badges of honors together and they can all spend, any of them can spend it whenever they want. And that is just so great about this game. And there's a few other things, you know. Um, you know, you have an account wide crafting material. Um, bag slot place where you can put crafting materials that everybody on your account can access regardless if they they were the people that found it or somebody else on your account found it and that's really really fantastic um, not only that but uh, there are uh, achievements a lot of the all the achievements are account wide you know that means so like if you know one of my character one of my character gets an achievement in super adventure box they all get the achievement, and if it comes with a uh, comes with a title, like this one, the distinction and apply jumping. Even though this little Asura right here, which that's, hey, Mr. Asura, even though even though he didn't even do the Super Adventure Box, he can wear that title, distinction and apply jumping. So it doesn't matter, you know. And you got these cool skins for weapons and armor you can get, which is account wide and it's so great and all these account bonuses and all this kind of stuff it's so awesome also on top of that ascended crafted uh, gear of any kind of sort is account bound um, your bank slots you know uh, just everything you put stuff in you know all that can be accessed by anybody you know so there's a whole lot of things that are account bound in this game but I think there's certain elements of the game that aren't account bound this should be because it just makes sense to me so I'm gonna I made up a list of things I'm gonna talk about uh, the first thing is map exploration um, if you look at this um, a lot of these things you know they're tied to the achievements okay so uh, let's let's see where they're listed they're listed under uh, explore now explore I unlocked Ascalon Explorer achievement meaning I've explored the entire thing of Ascalon Yet, when it comes for this character, even though he has that achievement, because it's account wide, oh wow, he hasn't even, whoa, he hasn't seen anything of Ascalon. I can't teleport anywhere, you know, I can't, you know, it's like he hasn't even seen it. That doesn't make any sense to me. If, if I have, if this character has the achievement, because all characters on the account have the achievement, why doesn't he have the benefits from it? Only the only character that actually has the benefits from the achievement is the character that earned the achievement. You know, because he earned the achievement by finding all the locations. What I think would be fair would be um, every character on the account should be able to access uh, teleportation nodes or, or whatever they're called. You know, regardless if you found it or not, if you've unlocked it, if you found it with one of your characters, you should be able to, you, it should show up for every one of your characters. Okay? And at the same exact time, uh, I think, you know, uh, points of interest, you know, should show up for each of your characters as soon as you found it on one of them. Now, what I would like to see stay per character wise is the skill points. Because those are really important. And you wouldn't want one character to get all the skill points and then not be able to come back in and get all the other skill points. Another thing I would like to stay per character 
is the uh, renown hearts because I think I just saw one. Oh, oh, no, no. See the renown hearts. The renown hearts should stay per character, and the vistas should stay per character, and the um, skill points should stay per character. But the points of interests and the uh, teleportation nodes or whatever they're called, they should stay per account. This allows you to go out and explore the world and every character on your account can gain the benefits from it. That means you can have a character that does nothing but just explore the world. You know, and if you just want to do that, you don't have to kill anything, you don't have to craft, you don't have to do anything. But this amazing world that they've made, that ArenaNet's made, you can have a character that can just go out and explore and then all your characters on your account can now take advantage of it because if you, there's an event going on and it says uh, if it says uh, you need to go to this area and I'm like oh man I need to go I need to go here but I don't I can't I don't have the teleportation thing oh have you ever encountered that that is such a pain in the butt it really really is so if the teleportation and the points of interest were account wide you know once you found it one character my little Asura guy could teleport all the way back, teleport to that location, and could reap the benefits of it. So that's one thing I would like to see change for account wide. Another thing is crafting. Now, as you can see, uh, achievement wise, let's see. I have maxed out Armor Smith on one of my characters. I've got the level 400, which at the moment is maxed out. It may not be maxed out in the future, but it is maxed out right now. And you would think, well, you know, you are the master armor smith. Did I get a title? No, I didn't. But still, I'm the master armor smith. Like, I can make anything. But not this guy. He can't do that. I got the achievement. He owns the achievement, too. Every, every character on the account owns that achievement. Because they can... They got the benefit of the extra points. They got the benefit, you know, of gaining the extra levels and getting the account bonuses. You know, you know, they got the points earned. Everything. I mean, everybody shares that, you know, acclaim for getting that achievement on the account. And yet, when I try to access the armor smith, I have nothing. I'm I'm a novice, starting back at level zero or rank zero. That doesn't make any sense to me. If you've gotten a crafting discipline to a certain level, you shouldn't have to start over with each of your characters. And you know, it's really smart how Arena Net did certain things because they they have eight different classes in the game, and there's eight different crafting disciplines in the game, and that's great and everything. But you shouldn't lose your progress because it's tied to the character. Because if I log into the character that has the 400 armor smith, and I delete that character because hmm, I want a char. I don't. I don't want a char of the. I, mean, I don't want the Norn version of him anymore. I want a char. So I'm. I mean, I'm just gonna delete him and re-roll him. Well, I lose all my progress. All that gold I put into grinding it to 40. All that progress. What I'm saying is crafting should be account bound. That means if I have four level four rank four hundred, if I have rank four hundred accessed on one of my characters, and one of my characters got it to rank four hundred, I should be able to have access to that rank four hundred crafting skill on every single one of my characters, and that just makes sense because I have access to all my crafting materials on all my characters. It makes sense. I mean, like this thing, like let's. Like this, ancient wind log. Uh, weapon smith level 400 could use it. Well, let's let's find something. Uh, okay, find something that uh, armor smith. Okay, ori calcum or armor smith 400 can use it. Now my my Asura can take it out of the bank. You know, can have access to it all all he wants. But he doesn't actually have the crafting discipline that can actually do anything with it. That's stupid. You know, if if I've if I've got it to 
or a certain rank on one of my characters, it should be available to all my characters. And I know what people are going to say, well, you know, you can have all the crafting disciplines on, on a character, but you can only have access to two. But I think that's really limiting. And I, th I think, you know, it makes sense if all your characters can work on any crafting discipline they want. If I want to say, uh, let's see, I want to work on Taylor right now. I have some cool tailoring supplies. I should be able to jump over here, boom, boom, do some work over here. That's great. But now I have some other cool supplies, and I want to, hopefully this is something. Okay, it's not something. But I'm trying to find something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I want to go do something over here, oh yeah, weaponsmith, I want to make me some new weapons. It doesn't matter what character I have. I can jump onto any character and go make me stuff, whatever I need. I don't have to jump on a specific character and go, oh man, oh man, that's the. I have to jump on my Norn because he's the armor smith. Then I have to transfer the thing to my other character and then jump on my warrior because he's the weapon smith. And then I have to transfer that to the character. Then I have to jump on my Asura because he's the. You know, it doesn't. It shouldn't have to work like that. All characters should be able to access all crafting disciplines at the same exact time and work together to level them up. So that's that topic. The last topic I kind of want to talk about is Super Adventure Box because that just came out recently. And as you can see, I'm making this video when uh, Super Adventure Box Back to School is going on. And uh, oh, I'm going to hide this. This is stupid. Okay, whatever. Um. So Super Adventure Box upgrades. I recently got into the World 2, and I found it to be very disappointing because I don't have all the weapons on this character. You know, I jumped into the game, and I was like, what? I, I have the stick? Why do I only have the stick with this character? Because according to this, let's see. Um, actually, I don't know uh, which achievement it is. There it goes. I've already I've already obtained all the item upgrades found in World One. Well, that belongs to all my characters. Heck, I mean, I can I'm using the title a lot from something connected to it. But when I'm in game, I only I only have the stick. Are you telling me each character I take in a super adventure box has to unlock every single upgrade again? That's stupid. That is stupid, you know, because it's going to take a long time of farming World 1 and getting all those baubles and going back through World 1 and buying all the upgrades, then farming World 1 again to get more baubles and then going to World 2 and buying the really, really expensive stuff like a $400, 400 bobble torch or a, you know, a, like a seven or like a 500 bobble bigger bag or, a, you know, it's all this stuff. I have to do that for each of my characters. No, that's that that shouldn't happen. That should not. I see. No, can I do that? No, that shouldn't happen. That's wrong, Arena Net. What I'm saying, if anything, anything that's connected to achievements, anything. If I've unlocked it, with one of my characters, all of my characters should have access to it, because that just makes sense. And because this says one of my characters unlocked all the item upgrades from World 1, all of my characters on my account should have access to all of the item upgrades found in World 1. Same thing for crafting disciplines. If one of my characters got Armorsmith to level 400, all of my characters should be able to access Armorsmith to level 400. Same thing for map exploration. If one of my characters explored all of Ascalon, all of my characters should be able to access the benefits from exploring Ascalon, which is like the teleportation nodes for the most part. And that's really what I'm trying to get at. If all my characters get credit for the achievements, then all should be able to take advantage of what the achievement came from, or what went into getting that achievement. You know what I'm trying to say? And if it shouldn't be, I should never lose anything if I delete a character. If I delete my character that has all the Super Adventure Box upgrades, I lose them all. Even though that same character unlocked them, if I remake the character with the same exact name, I lost them all. You know? 
there's so many great account bound thing account wide things in this game you know I, I i love the achievements i love these skins you can put on everything you know i i love the account wide bank it's so fantastic it's such a brilliant thing you know even though i'm completely got it full now and i love the account wide crafting material thing it's so cool you know even though the minis are kind of weird but you know it's it's so cool having access to all of them at any time that means if i collect a material on one character i can stash them on i can put it in here and access it from another character that's so cool all i'm asking all i'm asking arena net all i'm asking is make these other things tie in with it make it work well to, with it map exploration you don't have to lose it all you know you don't have to turn it all account wide I know that would be a lot of experience people would be losing but if you keep it with the skill points and the you know the, the renown hearts you know there would still be a, a ton of experience still there for players and, you know in crafting you know you know uh, the people aren't going to lose a ton of experience because now they'll have access to all kinds of different crafting disciplines they won't just have to stick with the one that you chose on that account so that that'll actually give them access to more experience from crafting, and then the super adventure upgrades. You know, I don't know. That's I mean, that's not really you're not really losing any experience there. So this is what I think about Guild Wars 2. I absolutely love this game. I absolutely love it, but there's certain things about it that I just don't get. You know. So uh, account wide is the coolest thing. I, I think it's so cool. Yes, it's very casual. So if you're a hardcore person that doesn't play any alts, it's probably not going to affect you. But for the person like me who has an alt of every single character, you know, it pains me. It pains me when I want to when I want to play on this guy, I have to explore the entire world all over again. And when I want to play on this guy, I have to unlock all the Super Avenger box items again. And when I want to play on this guy, I have to start crafting from zero again. It shouldn't work like that. And that's what I think about Guild Wars 2 and what I would like to see change. More than anything else. These are quality of life issues to me. More important than almost anything else. If they change these things, it would just be... It would just... Daunt, it would bring in a new era of the game. Where, I don't know, I think it would just be amazing. So, uh, thank you for watching, and, uh, Guild War 2 rules.